the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's love. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 269, Zechariah 7 to 10. Why did the Messiah enter riding on a donkey? The promise that the streets of Jerusalem and the city would be restored, and God would live there with faithfulness and justice, was joy produced to the returned community. First point The people from Bethel inquired the priests and the prophets about the fasting during the fifth month. God showed Zechariah eight visions, and then approximately two years later, people from Bethel came to ask the priests and the prophets whether they had to mourn and fast in the fifth month as they had done for many years. The people of Bethel, since 586 BC, when the Babylonians burned down the Jerusalem temple, had come on the fifth month every year to mourn and fast. And now they asked whether they were to continue. With the temple reconstruction project progressing, they were lost as to what they were to do. Regarding this question, God provided four answers to the returned captives. The first answer was a rebuke against their hypocrisy. God told them that the fasting and mourning had not been for God but for themselves. God furthermore told them that they had neglected the warnings of the prophets. Fasting and praying is supposed to be for God, not for sure. But the people of South Judah fasted for themselves. During the period of Babylon captivity, the people fasted every fifth month and seventh month. However, God rebuked them for their surface-level prayers and how their intentions were to satisfy their own religious needs more so than anything else. God instead asked them who they prayed to. In God's second answer, he made them reflect back on their sins and repent. The people had neither kept the laws nor listened to the warnings of the prophet. God had spoken through Moses, Amos, Isaiah, Jeremiah, and Micah. But the people did not listen and thus God's anger burned against them. Ultimately, that was the reason for their punishment. God punished them for 70 years as they had not listened to God, and thus their lands became desolate during this time. Second point, God told Zechariah that fasting would turn into joy. God's third answer continued. God requested the people to obey him in return for their restoration. God first outlined the promise for their restoration. On the day of restoration, the reconstruction of the temple would be carried out, and it will mark the days for the coming of the kingdom of God. First, God was to restore the Jerusalem city walls. Second, God was to give long lives to the people of Israel and enable them to live safely within their city walls. Third, God would restore the returned captives and his people. Fourth, God would restore the temple. Fifth, God would restore their lands and make it abundant. Zechariah passed this message of God to the returned captives and persuaded them that God's vision was in Jerusalem. Of course, this was not all to happen immediately but gradually. The temple restoration symbolized the restoration of Israel as well as God's salvation for the restoration of the captives. As such, God promised the restoration of Israel. In return, God requested the people to obey His commands. God's fourth answer proceeded, and this was that fasting would turn into a festival of joy. The news that 
the lords and walls of Jerusalem would be restored was the best news for the people at the time. God furthermore promised that all nations would believe and obey in God. Third point, through Zechariah, God declared his judgment to the surrounding countries of Israel. God told Zechariah the sins of the surrounding countries of Israel. First was judgment against Damascus, Hadrach, Tyre, and Sidon. God spoke against the five cities of Philistine and judgment against them. Even in the middle of this, God promised the protection of Israel. God promised to protect the returned captives against their enemies and to always look out for them. This was because they were his people. Fourth point, the Messiah would come humbly riding a donkey. Zechariah proclaimed the king who would save the world. This was the prophecy of the coming of the Messiah. The Messiah would come as the king and save all nations. The Messiah would come humbly riding a donkey. The Messiah would enter Jerusalem riding a donkey. The Messiah would bring peace. The Messiah would rule over the whole world. The Messiah would save all those who are trapped. The Messiah would be victorious. The Messiah would save his people and make them shine bright. The Messiah would bring abundant blessing. Fifth point, God told Zechariah that the Messiah would bring stability to the nation. God told Zechariah to rely on the Almighty God. God declared that he would judge the liars who spoke about the Messiah's salvation. God furthermore declared that he would punish those who made false accusations and those who led the people in wrong directions. God declared the Messiah who would come and change this. All the tribes of Israel would be saved from God's salvation, and the waters proclaimed by Ezekiel would be fulfilled. Now God proclaimed through Zechariah that all the Israelites who were scattered would come together to be saved. As such, Zechariah saw many visions and heard many prophecies from God. Zechariah helped the returned captives to see God's vision and to have hope. God gave the people new courage and promised that he would be with them. This Tong Doc app is amazing. When I first met Dr. Zhou, we were speaking together at a conference. And when I saw the Tong Bible and the way he had placed this one story together, the Bible, one story, I ordered cases of this Bible. Now to see this app, the Tong Doc app, ready for you to use in your daily Bibles reading, this is amazing because so many people tell me I don't understand the Bible. And he has placed it in an order as so that it is one story. And then day after day, takes you through the Bible in a way that God's Word will touch your heart so deeply that it changes your beliefs. It helps you to rise up and be the amazing person He created you to be. Welcome to the Tom Dog app.